OK. We've been through the different sources of finance. What I want you to do now is have a look at a few business situations and recommend the best sources of finance and explain why you've suggested them. Let's have a go. A firm wants to build a new factory costing £200 million. What is the best source of finance for this? If the firm is limited, it could issue shares. If not, a mortgage could be used. This is a large sum of money and will need a long-term source of finance, as internal sources are likely to be insufficient. Here's some more. Have a go at these. Did you find this okay? Exam questions are likely to ask you to decide on sources of finance and analyse them. Or, if it's an evaluation question, you'll have to take this one step further and judge which methods are the most useful. But for both types of question, you're going to have to be able to talk about sources that are relevant to the business in your case study. Let's have a look at some exam questions so you can practise this. Before I give you the question, let me give you a bit of background to the company so you can apply your answer. Lisa's Limos PLC is a successful limousine hire firm wanting to expand to operate more limousines in more cities. Here's the question. Discuss how Lisa's Limos might raise the finance required for expansion. Pause and spend about 10 minutes on it. OK, had a go? Let's go through some of the key points. The question doesn't say how much money is needed, so as the business is successful, it could perhaps use profit. Now, this means the firm won't have to pay interest on the money. You should be pointing out that shareholders may not be happy about this, as they may not get their dividends. Can you see how these points already link to this business? This means the examiner can start awarding application marks, and by showing the consequence of using profits, you can get analysis marks. Because it's a limited company, Lisa's limos could raise share capital, and people may be willing to buy shares in the business, because they're successful and the value of the shares may increase. This could be a good option if the business wants to raise a lot of money, but you need to point out that there may be an issue of the loss of control. The alternative to share capital would be loan capital. For this you'll need to pick a source of finance like I did, making sure you link it to the question and try to analyse the suggestion. For example, you might want to suggest a loan so the business won't face a loss of control, but remember that interest charges will be faced. What you'd need to do next is judge which source is best but point out that it depends on how much money is needed and how the business feels about paying loan charges or how they feel about a loss of control. If a question asks you to discuss something with a range of options like this question, I wouldn't discuss more than about three ideas. This will be enough to show the examiner that you understand the material and in the exam you won't have time to analyse more than this. Like with many evaluation questions, there's no right or wrong, but your suggestions need to be realistic. It's unlikely that an overdraft or trade credit would provide enough money to buy more limousines. <laughs>